Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing an updated Disney pin collection. Um, I'm going to be going into a little bit of detail about my pins and why I bought the ones I did. This is an update, so I will leave the old link to the video from two years ago down below. Since then, I have bought more Disney pins either from the parks or uh, online on Amazon. So I will kind of point those out to you guys and show you some of my favorites. So let's get started with this side over here. This category is um, like shows on Disney Channel. Uh, so we have the Where's My Water Gator, Jake and the Neverland Pirates, Kim Possible, Perry the Platypus, and uh, Rufus from Kim Possible. And when you look at this pin, you can see he has a hidden Mickey on him. That is basically if you get a mystery pack from the Disney pin traders, uh, it comes with like one or two pins in it. It ha And it has a hidden Mickey. It's like part of that series. They started it a while ago and I have no idea how many there are, but a lot of mine have them in it. Um, and a lot of times if you buy them online, they will specify if there are hidden Mickeys in that package. So if you are starting to collect and you want to just get some online first, or if you've never been to Disney and you just want to get some of the pins, that is something you can look out for that can really uh, boost your collection's value. If you're looking to ever sell them or something, which I would never, ever, ever, ever sell my pins. So the next one we have here is this long row here. And this is a pack of Epcot pins. Now I think I went into detail about them before, but basically they all came together and each one has a character representing a country. Sometimes it's like Mulan for China, cause obviously that's where the movie's set. And like the princesses, like where their stories are from, or it's just like a little Mickey character. Then we have hats. All of these ones I did not buy in the park. I know these ones were in a specific collection, the villains ones. Um, I'm not real sure about the rest of them. But then, sorry, my cat like knocked over some of these. Then we have the Vinyl Mations row. All of these ones were either gifted to me or I bought online. They still make Vinyl Mations. The store is just not in Disney Springs anymore. So this is what they look like. They all have different themes. I really like this one the skull obviously because you guys know i love halloween and kind of all things dark and spooky and there's a cheshire cat one just lots of different ones to look at then we have my three muppets ones all of these were bought online and as you can see all three have a hidden mickey somewhere on them this one's on the ribbon and this one is also on the bottom of the ribbon then we have my fairies ones. These two are gifted. This came in a bonus pack. And this one I actually bought myself. They have a couple different versions of who is on either side of Tinkerbell. So I just got this uh, when the fairies movies were like really big. They had a whole bunch. Now I think you would probably have to get them online. I don't think they're in circulation anymore. This pack here, um, fairly recent obviously because... There is an Elsa, if I can show you without dropping it. There's an Elsa and a hidden Mickey. These all make up a Ferris wheel of sorts. Um, so last I checked, you could still get these and get all of the Ferris wheel ones, but I'm not sure now since they took Duffy the Bear out of the Disney parks in the US. Then we have my stitch pins. I have a couple of these. Um, I think this is the very first stitch pin I ever bought. Then up here we have my Pixar pins. This one you won't find in the parks um, in 2013. If you signed up for the Disney Visa credit card, you got this pin sent to you. And if you look at the back, it is a official Disney pin that you can trade. It says it all on it, like card member exclusive, everything like that. So this is like a rarity. This is also a favorite of mine. Uh, my aunt found this the last time we went to Disney. So I don't think it was in my last video. I'm positive it wasn't. Uh, but the green aliens, I love them. And she found me a pin with this on it. So that was really cool. 
Then we have my like miscellaneous collection. Um, but I have no idea what this pin is for. Uh, it's got a Mickey keyhole. Maybe it's like Kingdom, not Kingdom Keepers. I would know what that's from. Uh, it Like it says limited release on the back. Uh, so I don't know if it's like Kingdom Hearts or something. Uh, this one's pretty cute. You can find a lot of these ones. They wear like different uniforms that the workers in Disney's wear. No idea what this rabbit or this armadillo is from. I'm pretty sure this butterfly is just for the sake of having Mickey on it. Then I have Rhino from Bolt. Figment from one of my mom's favorite rides. Oliver from Oliver and Company. Kind of an obscure Disney movie. And we have the Rescuers. I have both mice here. These came together and I think these are only in circulation during Valentine's Day. Not positive though. Then I have the little orange bird. I'm pretty sure these are like bigger in the past, but they have little Disney, or not Disney, hidden Mickeys on them. Then I have the elves from Prep and Landing. One of my favorite Christmas specials. A little floof from Club Penguin, R.I.P. Uh, I don't know what this shield's from. Kind of looks like Tangled, maybe. And then the Fantasia mushroom. And I also have a monorail pin. Uh, most of those came from online. This one is like the male uh, characters category. So we have Simba, King Louie, the Peter Pan parking sign, which I love this pin. I love Peter Pan. Uh, these ones here, the rest of these ones in this row, all came together. So we have Dopey, Prince Eric. This one's like a hard one to find. So if you have this one from this pack, I would say hang on to it. You can't find Prince Eric on a lot of stuff. Um, and then Peter Pan, Genie, Pinocchio, Hercules, and Aladdin, which I love the Hercules one. These ones, I don't think they release anymore, but they are badges from like Russell from Up. Uh, so I have three of those. Then we have my Jessica Rabbit pins. These are my favorites, so I'll go through them in a little detail. Uh, we have the Salute one, and her arm actually moves. The 2015 St. Patrick's Day one, my mom found this in one of the cases at checkout and got this for me, and I love it. Another one, I'm not bad, I'm just drawn that way. Let me see, is this one? No, this one's not limited release, so you might be able to find that one. And then this one was for Valentine's Day 2015 or 2016, or no, 2017, sorry. Uh, so that's where this one's from. Then we have these little nesting doll type ones. These come in mystery boxes. So I got Anna, Elsa, and then the three fairy godmothers from Sleeping Beauty. Uh, then we have this Aurora one. We're going into the princesses now, obviously. Uh, Snow White. I bought this one quite a while ago. Uh, then we have the Rapunzel parking sign. Rapunzel herself. Merida. Mulan. I like the ones that are their full bodies. Um, this one I got online and I think is a part of, you can kind of see like it clicks together with something else. Uh, so I'm not real sure what series that's from. Ariel Shoe. I know there's a whole pack of princess shoes. Uh, I got the Snow White Flower and the Snow White Gem. All of these kinds of things where they're like in a different form. These are what's going to be in your mystery packs. And then I got Aurora on my birthstone. I got this on my second ever trip to Disney. This pin here is actually one of my very first. This is Jasmine, and I loved this pin. It was so big and pretty. This is like the one that started it all. Um, yeah, this one's from 2003. All of them on the back have a print date of when they were uh, stamped. Then I have four cameos. I actually have five, but I'm looking to trade one. So I have Ariel, Snow White, Cinderella and Aurora and I have these are all my doubles that I have right here I keep them separate so I can just grab this bag when I go to Disney um, and 
trade them. So I have some Alice in Wonderland stuff in here. Um, I have some Mickey stuff in here. So yeah, if you see something you like and you want to trade, hit me up. Uh, then I have two buttons here. Ignore the magnet that I found in the bag. We have like hipster Mickey and Minnie and then like dapper Mickey and Minnie. These are just little buttons. I usually find at checkout. Then we have my villains pins. Sorry, you just saw my foot. Um, I'm literally just doing this on my phone because it's way easier than using my camera for this kind of thing. So sorry if this is shaky. This one came in a mystery one and I got it because, well, I was hoping to get this one because this is the trip I met Lady Tremaine and she was really, really good. Um, the person who's playing her was really good. And I believe Ursula came in the pack with her. These are, these ones, these big ones were like just coming out at the time and they were these big villain ones. So I got, I got three of those. Then I have this Hades tie that I got online. Um, and then this last time we went, we played the Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom. So I got this one. This is the Chernabog one. Again, these were a mystery box. And then we got Ursula. We got Scar. And we got Cruella. I would love to go back and get more of these because uh, they're really cool. And these ones came out in 2012 but I got them long after that this one here with the off with her head and the scar one are actually puzzle pieces from a mystery box and if you get them all together it creates a comic strip then what's this one I actually traded this was one of the first pins I traded for this last time we went I traded one of the not the official pin traders but someone who goes to the parks and basically just stands there all day waiting to trade pins so I got this cool one for when I really didn't like or had like a double of. Even if I don't like a pin, I keep it just for, you know, value sake. But I got this one because I really wanted these villain ears. Then I got these ones from Mystery Pack. They say things like Wicked Left Hook, Tall, Dark, and Sinister, Spellbound, Fashion Hound, or Clothes Hound. Those four all were in Mystery Packs. Then I got this Maleficent one where she's on the tower. Just a full bodied Maleficent and the evil queen that says just one bite. And then I got a Disney duet. This was a limited edition um, and it's Cruella and Pongo. I just thought it was really cool. And they have a Rapunzel one uh, too. So if they still have them, I'll get it. But this is like limited of 3000 so and you can see it was $15 just for one pin which uh, I was fine paying for. Down here before I forget I have two Oswald the Lucky Bunnies uh, if anyone knows who he is he's kind of obscure unless you really follow Disney. These two pins are from Universal I got a Betty Boop and Gingy from Shrek. These ones here are all from Build-A-Bear Workshop from when I was younger and made bears this was Mother's Day the Topaz one uh the winter bear and the autumn bear. I have one from Hawaii that my parents got me with a monkey. And all of these here are from, uh, like this one's from Yankee Stadium. And then I have ones from like when I bowled. This one's from Build-A-Bear. Um, when the Olympics, I got the Olympics bear. Akron Racers is a professional softball team. So I got that. And I have some Olympic ones that my mom got me. So our travel ones. So I got this one from the Discovery Museum. It is the District 12 one from the Hunger Games. Uh, my Irish Colada from Ireland. The 9-11 Memorial and two Hard Rock ones. This one I got um, Presidential Education Award. So I got a little pin there. And these are from Dancing. Now we go into the biggest section. Um, as you guys can see, it extends pretty far. This is my Mickey collection. I really don't buy pins with just Mickey on them, but they come in a lot of the lots you find online. So there's a lot of them here. This one I actually did pick up myself. I thought it was super cute, Mickey and Minnie on the tandem bike. 
And I got this one myself, the Africa one, because I do love Animal Kingdom. These two I got just for staying at the resort during 75 years of Mickey. I think I traded one of these for something. Then we have Goofy. We have like a drama mask. Ballerina mini. Mickey ears that are just... Is this a real one? This one I can't trade. This one's not a tradable pin, but just one they released. Mickey ears. This one I really like. It's mini as like a lollipop. Uh, again, Mickey mini. This one I bought myself. This is a... Mm-hmm. This is a St. Patrick's Day one. Donald Duck, Pluto, Mickey. This one looks like a Disneyland ticket. This one is 80 Years of Mickey. Uh, and it opens up like that and has the original design of Mickey and the design at the time. Let me get a better angle. Now you guys can see more of them. Uh, we have Minnie here, uh moving a little package of some sort. We have Mickey in the car, Mickey, Chip and Dale kind of painting each other, uh, Donald Duck signature. I really like this postage stamp. Another uh, St. Patrick's Day pin. This one is pretty big. It's Mickey pulling the sleigh. Donald. I think these car ones were probably a set. Uh, Donald again, an M. This one was from Epcot. This cute little Pluto um, that I did not buy. It came in the pack and I'm really happy it did. This one I got and it slides side to side. Uh, this one came out in 2012. I have a China one, I have a Yankees one, obviously. Um, I have a Fantasia one, a Pennsylvania one. I like these little black and white ones. My grandma gave me these, super adorable. Uh, Mickey and friends playing baseball. Tiki Donald, a yield sign. Um, I really like these little snowmen ones. I would love to get more of the snowmen ones and also the princess cameos. Uh, a Daisy, another Mickey, and another Mickey. And even these Mickey ones have hidden Mickeys in them. Over here, we have basically all the sets I want to complete. I'd love to do the Disney fruit one. I think that's cute. These are the Disney candy apples. I'd love to get all of those. I have three of the cupcakes, and I think there's eight. Um, and I'd love to get all the donuts, but I'm really happy I have the Peter Pan one. These came in uh, a pack on Amazon. So if you're looking for these specifically, check it out there. I have no idea what these ones are for. I think it's something with Epcot. And these two came in mystery packs and Star Wars ones. Like, I had a double of this one here. So he took one of those since he likes Star Wars. Um... But this comes in like an 8-pack or something and you get all the symbols. I don't know what they are. Again, I just keep them for like posterity, I guess. Over here, this is just like my little sidekicks collection. I have a Grumpy Ears Pascal. I bought this one and I got this one as well on a mystery pack. Meg, I bought her in 2003 on my very first trip. And then we have Pleakley. This one here I bought at Yankee Stadium, so not a Disney pin, but I do love it. And then we have my very tiny Pooh Bear collection, which I need to expand on. I got Baby Pooh, which I'm in love with this pin. I would actually put this on like a jean jacket if I wasn't so afraid of losing my pins. Um, this Pooh Bear I got the second time we went, I think, and the honey is actually starting to detach. Uh, so I'm not sure how to repair it without ruining it. Uh, then we have an Eeyore sitting on an E. I'd love to get the whole alphabet of these. And then Piglet I also bought the second time we went to Disney. So I'm just going to finish off this video showing you guys how I store my pins. Uh, mainly they go on lanyards and then they get put in a bag where they don't get moved or smashed around. Uh, because I don't want them ruined. So 
Let's start. This one here is currently empty, but I put a lot of my holiday pins on here. Uh, but these are, this is a limited edition lanyard. This one, I'm not sure if you can still get. Um, it might just, you know, not be in circulation anymore. It could have been discontinued. Um, move some stuff here. But this one, I keep my little nerd pack on. All of my pins go on lanyards. I just didn't take these ones off. Uh, so we have Mickey and Minnie, Donald and Daisy, Chip and Dale and Goofy, and they're all little nerds. And then we have this one. My grandma gave me this one with a bunch of the American themed pins. This one here, she actually got a medallion for. I don't get the big medallions. Sorry, there's little cards in the way. Uh, I don't get the big medallions just because they are really heavy. And when I'm in the park, I, uh, like, it already gets heavy enough with the amount of pins I have on it. It actually starts to hurt my neck because I do fill up a lanyard every time we go. At least one, if not more. We have this big old lanyard here. Again, it comes with a pin trading card. If it comes with a card, I leave it on there. Looks cute. Uh, and it's not like I, I don't have keys or anything, so... I don't have to worry about putting my keys on there. Uh, but this lanyard came with four pins. There's Sally and Jack, Zero and Jack, Oogie Boogie, one of my favorite characters, and then Jack, and then two. These Haunted Mansion ones actually all came together. So we have the Gracie kind of family crest, Foolish Mortal, Madame Leota from Regions Beyond, my favorite character on a ride, uh, and then the Hitchhiking Ghosts. This one, I keep all my ride ones on, if you couldn't figure that out. Uh, Twilight Zone, Tower of Terror. I hate that ride, but I like the pin with Stitch and the doors open and close. Splash Mountain, great ride. Expedition Everest has some moving parts. I really like pins that move and are kind of interesting. The Matterhorn. Pirates of the Caribbean, sorry, these are upside down. We're getting to the other side of the lanyard. Uh, Alice in Wonderland, we're all mad here, and I'm late. These ones you really gotta look at and find the detail in. And then this little shirt one, which I'm not sure if they make anymore. And then my favorite lanyard is my reversible lanyard from our last trip that has some really cool, let me like show you the other side. Uh, villains artwork it's the same on each side but on this side you get little photos of them and it actually has trailer log on it which is not usually on let me find his face right here Chernobog from Fantasia is usually not on uh, Disney merchandise and if you've read Kingdom Keepers you want Chernobog on your stuff so these are the pins I keep on here. This was a pack I got that I had my eye on for quite some time. This is the Beauty and the Beast booster pack. So it comes with, they're in a vinyl mation shape with Belle, Gaston, Mrs. Potts, the Beast, Lumiere, Cogsworth, and Prince Adam, aka the Beast. And then for all the pins that don't fit on there because they do not all fit on lanyards, they do make hats and I actually bought this hat just to wear in the park uh, when I was younger and now I keep my pins on it as you can see from all of the little holes in the top it looks like it was attacked with a BB gun uh, but yeah that's basically what I do to store my pins and then these little things just go on your magic band I got villains ones to go with my purple magic band I got last time that's basically it uh, these are my pins. Hope you guys enjoyed and let me know if you want to see more Disney stuff. Bye.